Wait, give me a second. Oh my god, I blanked. I'm so sorry. I just literally blanked. No, get your life together. Are you recording? That's fine. Let 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 the world see what happens. You're already like getting like de- like like having senior moments and you're well, Devon, only Devon, 19. Are you expecting me to be perfect at all times? I can't just be human. You're trying to play a mind game with me and I don't am like I? it. He said you're trying to play a mind game with me. You're trying to I'm play not mind. appreciating. Well, I'm just not allowed to be a kid because you want me to work all day. So you're a kid? Yo, cut all of that shit out. I ain't gonna lie. He I said, cut like, that, that shit. shit. Keep this baby I'm a child. going. Because I want people to see who you really are. <laughs> he I, said, I want them to see what people in FL Studio do. Sandra's Rose. I saw your ADD get so clouded and cluttered. I literally, yeah, I just. I, I just saw you, your brain literally fart. Because I knew I wanted to. Come on, it didn't poot. It didn't poot. It did poot. It didn't poot. It did poot. I tell you what, let me just introduce this podcast until you get your brain together. What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Devon Terrell, and welcome to another episode of the My Audio Nerds podcast, the podcast for audio nerds like yourself. Please make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. It really, really helps a lot. Also, make sure that you let us know in the comment section what you would like to see next or anything of that nature. Also, to the left of me, matter of fact, before that, my name is Devon Terrell. I am a Pro Tools user, and I'm going to make sure I say that every single time. To the left of me... It's the F. Alzheimer. <laughs> that was good. That was pretty yeah, good. That was good. I'm back. You're Come a writer. On. I'm back. But you know what it's like? You're um, a writer. The picture of Michael Jordan when he came back to the league, it was like, I'm back. So you know, Oh, no, no. The picture of LeBron when he went to Ke- uh, Cleveland, it was like, I'm back. When he went back to yeah, come on, I'm back. All it's right, the FL God, L Gene, you already know the vibes. And I can't make this shit up. Uh, to the right of me, man, y'all already know who it is. I ain't gotta say it. It's your boy, the goat, and that's it. You know what? What program? Y'all the are goat. so cocky. It, it's so funny. I think we really embody what people think of their D like of, of their what DLWs. DLWs. I ain't gonna lie. This is gonna be a train wreck. I'm with it. What? This episode, I just feel like I'm crashing as we speak because it's like I can't remember shit right now. What's wrong with you? Like, did something, did you I had a whole I had a whole tr- I took that Dahlia. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's, that it's a different podcast. It's a different podcast. Different podcast. Right. Did you, do you have a one gotta go for us though? Do I have a one gotta go for us? <laughs> you know somebody lying when they repeat the question? Yeah, they're like, damn, do I, do you I, are I got us? Do I got that for you? Is that what I got for you? Behringer versus Neumann. Stop. Right, right. Stop. Whoa. Right. It was about to get, I was about to have to get up off this chair. MIDI controller companies is our one gotta go for today. MIDI controller okay. companies. Okay. Right, I like this. Novation. Okay. Hard. We got Akai. Yep. Hard. Not going nowhere. We got M Audio. Okay. Ooh. Interesting. We got Native Instruments. Okay, you. I want you guys to answer because I feel like y'all are producers. very producer heavy. No, we're producers. Thank so I'm you. not a producer. No, you work out of pros, bro. Wow, that was so disrespectful. <laughs> that was an assist, bro. Nah, hold on. Hold on. Nah, I don't know fucking love <laughs> on that. To do that is crazy. <laughs> yeah, in front of your computer, bro. <laughs> in front of my pro tools. In front of your pro tools. All right, I, I feel the disrespect, but I'm gonna let y'all answer. I'm gonna let y'all answer that. That was mad disrespectful. I'll tell you who my associate. <laughs> You're not a producer. Yeah, yeah. Who, I'm not gonna tell you who I gotta go first. Okay. Because I feel like I do that a lot. Give me your. Give me your. I'll tell you my give untouchable. Me your untouchable. untouchable. Give me your untouchable. We got novation. Oh, novation's my untouchable. You yeah. Wow. Mm. Really? Yeah. So yeah, I'll take a Kai now that you said Novation because I was I didn't want to leave Novation like that. Novation that was my first keyboard. Novation too. is why it's not even just being the first. I get well. We already know the significance of a Kai and what right, it's done for, for producing. Sure. It was supposed to be the best doll of all time. I don't know what happened. Yeah, you always say but, that. Um, I get you. Novation is really like they're the goats. We can't yeah. like we don't give them. It's like Rob Pappen. Oh my we gosh, what a plug gi- in. We don't give them the respect they deserve. Rob, I like, forgot about that. Rob Happen, I'm not going to lie, we was going to do the Audio Nerds Awards, and I wanted to give them the Lifetime Achievement. I was That's, pitch That's funny, you just That's snitched on good. future content, but it's cool. I like cool. that out. Beep. No, 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 leave it there. I like it. Just for them, they know we're, we're, we're planning more stuff and stuff like that. But, but no, yeah, that's fine. it's the Rob, pa- like, whoa. I agree with you. Novation doesn't get its love. The launch key. Okay. Um, The V station, the B station, the FL key. I, they gave FL their first is it? MIDI keyboard. It's not because of that. Because Akai gave us our first MIDI anything. Mm. That MPD and all that other stuff. No, the fire, the MP, uh, MP, the AK, the Akai fire. The yeah, Akai fire. I, that was the ooh. first FL, and it was our step sequencer, right? But with mad shit, like added fire. on oh to gosh, it. Yes. See, That's here's tough. my thing with Novation. I've never gotten into Novation. Like that never. It, I've always seen it, but that never was like front facing right there. Mm. Or maybe the price point of Novation. I was like, ah, I'd rather go with something else. What I will say is, he's rich. He's literally, yo, come on. M Audio, he, he literally is. just said, he is. I looked at Novation Price and was like, 
<laughs> this must be a leapfrog toy. <laughs> Let me move. No, I said it was too high of a price. Novation is too high. I, I've said that's what oh, I'm I probably sorry. didn't get you're into. You're a broke it. boy. Yes, He's that's like, what oh, I'm trying to say. You're a it's broke boy. Bucks. So it's the same price point. One sixty. So it's yeah. the same. Why are you dancing? Why are you dancing? That was funny. <laughs> uh, so it's like the same price point as uh, the right uh, all the uh, all the other stuff. No, because not necessarily. Anything, native instruments be taxing. They no, OD no. tax. Native people. instruments for native, sure. Native I, is OD. But you know what? The thing about no a native instruments, I noticed that with their stuff, they sell their software as well with it. Like they'll yeah. try to bundle you with the shit. Type, type shit. And they're the only ones with. Uh, we never show DJs love, but they're the only ones with an actual controller, like a DJ controller. Oh, no, no. Novation owns track, uh, Tractor. <gasps> Novation owns Tractor? Not Novation. I'm so sorry. Native oh, Instruments. Native Instruments. Owns native, instruments. Instruments. native owns Tractor? Yeah, that's their stuff. Tractor comes with Complete. Complete, yeah. Oh, my gosh. So I had a friend of mine that was an EDM DJ, mm -hmm. and I remember it was such a big deal. He got his mixer, and he got Tractor, and we were like, what? bro, that shit was like revolutionary. Yo, I ain't going to lie. DJs, we never talk about y'all, but I want to get this off. I don't like how y'all hate on virtual DJ. I'm a Serato DJ. Yo, now. stop hating on virtual DJ. Yo. Virtual DJ held us down. Yo. Virtual DJs hard and mad dope people. I, I feel like they said David Get somebody on that level uses a For virtual sure. DJ. I was like, to be. man, why do I get judged walking into these big venues with virtual DJ? I had to switch OD. to Serato. I'm not gonna lie, bro. When I mean in college, virtual DJ <laughs> held it down, bro. bro. My subscription, I, bro. Listen, I would have to change to my internal clock every every <laughs> month to keep getting that. I'm free not gonna lie, yeah, that free. That's my yo. That was the good, bro. I used to send my computer back to 1999. I'm crying. <laughs> Maybe it's a time travel back just to keep the license going. Yeah. yeah, I'm not gonna lie to you. They time have travel? the best. Offline? They have the best. The offline activation. Facts. Come on. Facts. So we they all time best, travel um, to restart our yeah. plugins. They have at the some best point. BPM counter. Like the only Who? one that I buy. Yes. By. No. Oh my virtual god. DJ. Virtual really? DJ. I don't BPM trust Toonbat. Like I love you, Toonbat, and y'all do good job and stuff. They do Toonbat. They tell you the um the key in the BPM. I remember Toonbat, bro. It's my nigga. Wait, wait. Time out. Time out. Time out. What? So you DJ? Nah. No, too bad. So you, you open, I find I find wait, the BPM with that. So you open got virtual, virtual DJ, DJ just yes. to drag your file Bro, in. I remember one time. I remember one time. Remember that whole that whole that whole. NFL, my nigga. You remember, nah, remember that whole? Nah, no, no, no. Remember that whole double time argument we had? Yeah. When we was like, oh, some people do do their joints in 160. Some people do their joint like this. Yeah. And it wasn't until I opened a virtual DJ and I checked. I forgot what song it was, uh -huh. but everyone was telling me like 140 something, 140 whatever, whatever. Why? I dropped that joint in virtual DJ. That's what I said. This shit is 87.5. <laughs> I was like, oh, word? They was no. lying? Virtual DJ I'm needs to get up his love. Uh, I think it's owned by Luminix. I don't know. I don't want to yes. mess it up. Okay. I, I don't want to mess right. that up. Let's, let's but up. Virtual DJ doesn't get its love. It has a better BPM counter. It has a better key finder. Mm -hmm. And has a better grid locker than Serato. Yeah. Using Serato? Yes, like, I'll be using Serato and it don't be on beat. Like, say there's a little perfect example. Uh -huh. You rock my world. Michael uh -huh. Jackson. I have that in every every show that I do, every DJ set I, I do, uh -huh. I always have that record somewhere okay. in there. Okay. But it has the long intro of Chris Rock speaking. Right. So it's so it never catches the... it on the one. Oh. So it messes it up for everything. So yeah. Oh. And it counts that in the BPM counter. Serato, I love Serato, and Serato stems is the reason why I'm not going back to Virtual DJ. Even though Virtual mm. DJ has stems before Serato. That is true. They definitely Yo, is. Virtual DJ deserves this love, and if nobody's going to do it, I will. That is so interesting Clip with that. virtual DJ, bro. And yeah. by the way, we're gonna get killed for this, and I love it. Um, but when you know with virtual DJ, bro, it was just like the first program that I didn't need. Obviously, it was a cheap way for me to DJ without needing yeah. turntables or controllers or anything like that. Yeah, that's why yeah. I was watching controllers. With it was DJ? a wrap. Well, we got um controllers. Like that's why a lot of DJs now they walk around and they don't need to ca carry their actual turntables Turntable, anymore. Yeah. Which I think that that's fire for them because now. You don't have to like do so much. Back in the day, yeah, I would never remember MP3 CDs. Mm -hmm. Remember you had to have CD. So it went from vinyls and crates to which is yo. When I think about that, like a DJ, bro, they had well, the. I got bro. I pay for Apple Music, Spotify, and Title. Apple Music shows the most love to independent artists. Spotify has all my libraries and some of my favorite podcasts that are exclusive. Mm -hmm. And Title. Is because my Serato and virtual DJ are linked to that. <laughs> linked that was that. smart. Can oh, I can I say one thing about Spotify? And by the way, I do want to clear up something that we said in a previous episode um, about Og Vorbis. Mm -hmm. So Shout I was I did some reading because I was watching it and I was like, oh wait a minute, let me double check because I've always heard this Og Vorbis. I haven't checked in it in a while, yeah. but apparently they do. I think they do three different formats. So some of it plays back in Og Vorbis. Some of it plays back in um in uh. 
uh, I think an AAC, which is which threw me off. So they're so using, I think AIFF? they're using, no, not AAFF, uh-huh. AAC, which is like M4A, if I'm not mistaken. That's the same. Kind it's that, that's like yeah, it. It's so they're using shape. that format, and then they're using something else. That I could be wrong, but I looked on their site and I did see that they were like actually using that. Hmm. Audio formats. I'm sorry to completely go ahead. Something. Audio ahead. formats to juices. Audio formats to juices. Ooh. MP3 is minute made. No. You can't go wrong with MP3. No, no. You cannot go wrong with MP3. It was MP3 revolutionary. Oh, so has like, can, can I say what it is? MP3 is not. I Bro, but not at the like same MP3s. time, MP3 brought us from the trenches. You're right. No, that is true, though. MP3 is the thick ass juice. You know which one I'm talking about. Yes, it gotta be something bad. What's it called? What's it called? Tampico. Tampico. It's Tampico. Or Sunny D. It's Sunny D. It's Sunny D. No, it's Tampico. It's all I said. It's all I said. Sunny D is too high quality. I love Sunny D. By the way, it's bad for you. It's bad for you. It's bad for you. I like Sunny D. Oh, you do? The red Sunny D? Oh, my God. Yeah, facts. We're taking them to the street. Really oh, we all have brain issues. <laughs> so, nah, we definitely. Tampico? Tampico, Bro. yeah, for sure. So, Tampico is, what do we say? Tampico is um, MP3. MP3. MP3 for sure. Okay, what's, uh? we always Minute get Minute Made is Wave. wave. Minute Made is Wave. Minute Made is Wave. Because Wave. That's the God. Minute and we're talking about the States. I know in, uh, they remember Fruitopia? Oh, yeah. I I mean, that's Fruitopia. not in the States anymore. It's in Canada now. I'm going to try oh. it tomorrow. It's what only they, a Canadian It's only beverage? a Canadian beverage now. I don't like Fruitopia. And they, they don't like Minute Maid up there. They like Fruitopia. They tripping. They wild. I ain't going to lie. They tripping. Minute Maid is the best juice. War. This is interesting I don't care how much bread I, I got. That, Tropic, Tropic, Tropicana. Ooh, Tropicana. Ooh, I feel like that's A-I-F-S. waves. I would say that's wave for me. Wave no, is not, hey, Minute Maid is way, bro. Minute Maid drink, is way. I don't do Minute Maid. There's so many other. There's also so many I don't other joints. Do Minute Maid. You could do um simply. Snapple this could simply. be Minute Maid. If, you know what M4A Snapple. is? Snapple. Snapple. Snapple could be Minute Maid. Oh, uh, that's a Minute Maid. Snapple could be uh, wave. Wave. Huh? Okay. Nah, I, I like Snapple. It's it's Maid, People bro. like Snapple. It's Minute nah, Maid. Nah, you're right. I go lie. Minute tripping. Maid is hard. We all, bro. You, you, every hood person, refrigerator open, bro. There's gonna be Minute Maid, bro. and it doesn't last. It doesn't. Minute made, and it's, it has to be carton minute made. Uh, it can't be canned minute made. Don't give me that canned minute made. It can't be bottled. Juice. No. Give me uh, that juice. Um, a hood nah, juice? Nah, nah. What's Agorbis? Because you're saying minute, minute made is, in, is inside. Agorbis is coconut water. water. <laughs> yeah, it's oh, Vita. It's, it's yeah. the Vita Coco? <laughs> Vita it's the Vita Coco. Coco. That's OD. That's no, OD. Oh, that's OD. Flack, Flack is a Malta. That's just a hard drink. Flack <laughs> is not a Malta. That's Nah, you're giving them love low key, because that's Goya. And there's mad Goya products in people's cribs. I don't. That's true, but I don't think Flack... Now it's not a right. go, it's, not, it's not a Goya. It's not a Goya. It's not a Goya. It's not a Goya. I can't give people, it that. A lot of I people feel like that's wave. What? Uh uh uh, uh Goya. You on Coke. Cause most of you juice? like juice. All right, no, let's stop this. There's do you juice? like juice, bro? Of course. Of course I do. What's your favorite juice? Hmm. It's not minute made, I'll tell you that. I stopped drinking. He's gonna say chubbies. Personally, I, that's wild. You need to grow up. <laughs> personally, <laughs> I don't drink <laughs> personally, I don't drink juice, but if a chubby, bro, that they still they don't make chubbies no more, bro. Yes, they do. You know what's a <laughs> fire juice? You know what's a fire fruit punch? What? Turkey hell. Oh my gosh. Yo, you can't, yo, you shooting from half that's flat. right now. Are y'all serious? That's flat. That's, that's, flat. Jack, that's not flat. Oh no. Yes, it is. Because flat is not everywhere, bro. You can't no okay. 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 You Turkey know what I think? Not flat is? Right. What? I think it's the powdered iced tea juices. Oh, we call it Kool-Aid or the four C. That'd be a little expensive. This would be seven dollars. That's Yeah, that's just all right. Hard. We gotta get off. <laughs> that way is fire. It's a good. Topic. All right, yo, right, screw it. I'm going to my topic because we're wilding. Um, we definitely are. It's so fire. the topic that I wanted to bring to y'all today is one that we actually brought up in some previous episodes, but I noticed there was a lot of debate online when we posted, and a lot of people gave me a lot of different references as far as. Uh, the information that we was kind of talking about. Okay. And it's about, should you EQ before you compress or should you compress before you EQ? Now, granted, I know to our viewers, we've touched on this before, but I really wanted to circle back with all the information you guys have been putting um, out there in the comment section and stuff like that and kind of just touch base. Because the reason why I really feel it's important to talk about this and why I want to clear some things up is because I see a lot of different engineers saying different things. And so... I want to give my perspective on it at the same time, kind of shed light on why, for me, I have my method as far as why I do things and why I'm saying that it's not wrong for them to do it another way. Right. Should you put your cereal in your bowl before your milk or put your milk in your bowl before your cereal? That is actually an amazing that's a, that's analogy. That, I'm yeah. not going to lie to you. That's that's that, that's it. I really don't think it's a huge Deal. Deal. So, mm. so here's the argument with people that say, oh, you shouldn't EQ before you compress. There's a lot of harmonics that are just in your vocal before any compression or anything like that. And people feel like if you take some of that stuff out before you compress, that you're kind of... You're losing. Completely. You're losing some things. It's, you know what it's kind of like? 
Hmm. Um, and I know Levin's definitely seen this. Uh-huh. I've seen a lot of producers. Decap, Decap did a short on it the other day uh-huh. about, I, I didn't even know this was that big of a thing. Huh. People are really wondering like, oh, should we stop using uh, uh, filters and start using shelves instead? And I'm like- Get the- Yo, yo and, y'all and, are not fun no more, bro. See? See? Y'all and, are not fun. So, His, when do we stop go ahead. Go ahead. engineering, producing all of that off of feeling? Exactly. When did we start That's being technical thing. with everything? That's kind of my I feel, thing. I like, sometimes I see some of the, just on the t- HMD timeline. Okay. And it'll be, here's where you should EQ your guitar at. And I get sometimes they're just tips or just mm. examples or um, templates and things uh-huh. like that. But when did we become so, te- I get it. I'm not an audio <laughs> engineer, so I, I could know. sound super When do we care so much about the ones and zeros, like for sure? The what? best music, I'm, I'm a creative at the end of the day. Okay. So the best music, like... I'm not going to try to hit every the right progression because mm-hmm. if I go to that note mm-hmm. and that note make me say ooh mm-hmm. I'm a, I'm a you're going to use that note. note. Okay. You're going to use that note. We've had those feelings. So yeah. what I'll say to you is I don't think it's invalid for you to say that or feel that way, but what I will say is what I appreciate about it is knowing behind the scenes and having that understanding of, oh wow, I didn't know that that's what's mm-hmm. occurring. For instance, something that I've recently been 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 uh kind of going down a rabbit hole with is phase, right? Like phase issues. You always hear that, right? Oh, check your phase, blah, blah, blah. I thought you meant the gamers. That was a bar. Come on, give me my shot. That wasn't. Ah. But okay. points. Anyway, phase has been like a big topic for me that I've been like kind of uh, diving into. And what I've been realizing is all of these EQs we use introduce some type of phase shifting where it changes the phase. When I boost it, some of the phase changes on it actually sage audio shout out to sage audio they had a great video on it about phase and yeah, basically phase cancellation and all that stuff. yeah about like how when you boost certain frequencies you're then kind of shifting that waveform over which can cause masking or it can make sound sound quieter just with boosting frequency so you think this to yourself oh i'm just boosting two kilohertz and you're doing actually way more than that so okay. i will say sure people have been doing this for years by the way I did an experiment. I was like, yo, let me see if there's a difference between like really bad EQs and really good ones. So I did my fat filter EQ and I was like, and I boosted it and I saw from the EQ an- analyzer that it threw some of the phase off. And I was like, oh wow, it's doing that. And you could change the settings in the fat filter. Say, um linear. If you don't to linear. But there's still a little bit of phase. It's not gonna be perfect. Because yeah. once you're once you're impacting the harmonics, you're shifting those frequencies. Yeah, see, so. but that but, so my thing was I was like, well, at the end of the day, we've been doing this for years in our mm-hmm. audio. So I just think that the way we talk about phase mm-hmm. has to change a little bit because I feel like yeah. you're gonna have some type of phase change. I like, think people are looking at it. I think people are looking at it also from I like I could be wrong, by the way. I'm, I'm I wanna learn about this, I'm saying. I, I feel like in like how people describe it, like you said, um in that terminology makes it seem like the only time this can present itself is coming from EQ. Yeah. Compress- compression is coloration, too. That's mm-hmm. saturation. You're adding. So you're going to be changing the harmonics, the fundamental, the fundamentality, and just the overall phase uh-huh. of the sound, right. Like no matter what you start with, to be honest. So let me- Keep let, in mind. Let me sell it to you like this. Just, so, just for people that's like, I don't really get the phase thing, right? Or mm-hmm. why I should care. All right. Say, for instance, you have a wave, right? It's like this. Woo, woo, woo. A wave file or a wave? It's like a wave. A, You're going to fuck this entire thing up <laughs> if you don't shut right. up. Let's say you have a wave, right? It's like this. It's going like this. Now, obviously, that one wave is a sound. Let's say that's a guitar or whatever it is. Now, let's say, for instance, I take another guitar. If I take a copy of that same guitar, right, yeah. and I put them on top of each other. If I put them on top of each other you're going to notice that it gets louder or you're going to notice a change in that sound. You're going to notice like a, like, you're just going to notice a change in that sound. Yeah. Now, if I take that same guitar, right, and I flip it 180, now when this wave is up here, yeah. this wave is down here. Cancels out. Right. Phase yeah, cancellation. If was good at math, y'all get it. Got you. Phase <laughs> cancellation. So it's like that. So now if I take this wave, right, and I shift it over a little bit, that sound is going to come back. It's going to be hard, though. Like, it's, it, a, it's a different sound. But it's going to be yeah. a different sound. It's going to be some waves are going to be canceling out. Some stuff is, it's just going to, so... That little uh, idea of when you're mixing, sometimes when you're finding that your vocals are competing with certain instruments, mm-hmm. a lot of times I've seen Dave Pensado do it is where he'll just flip the phase on a guitar just to see if it gets out of the way of the vocal and stuff like that. Yeah. And this is something I'm just tapping into. I'm learning more about, but it's something that I've just been investigating more just within everything and stuff Super like that. Super dope. Thank you. That was very interesting. Okay. Like, just informative. I don't know if you're being condescending. I'm I'm oh, you're Okay. Yeah. I got something I want to say, though. If your if your stock DAW don't got a let me redo that invert oh, no if your stock DAW EQ don't have a real time analyzer in it you a broke boy that's not true no you are 
That's not true. If your stock D A W E Q, if your D A W stock E Q, you can't see everything. That's cap. Because Pro Tools has an EQ and it is, it is, it is phenomenal. It doesn't, it doesn't have a, a but y'all can't buy y'all D A W. Y'all rent it. I'm not talking to you. <laughs> Yo, yeah, that was funny. I'm not a lot of them today. <laughs> Patching a lot of them. Just Yo, I'm not gonna lie. When you say it like that, it hurts so much because you're not lying, and it blows mine. I rent my DAW from from Pro Tools, yeah. and I guess what? I'm gonna pay my rent. I'm, I'm, I'm a yearly leaser, so yo, I oh, you oh, you get money. I, I do whatever CLA. Do, uh, I do whatever CLA do. CLA on CLA vocals has the EQ knobs before the compression knobs. So you got, guess what I'm gonna do? You gonna EQ, I'm gonna EQ before, you before I compress? Okay, so Ooh. so. Yo, come. I wonder. Keep that. Keep that question in mind. Okay. Hot, small hot take. Is that why Mike Dean hates CLA vocals? I have no idea why Mike Dean hates that program, but he bro, hates just that let that people project. EQ their vocals before they compress it, bro. It's okay. I'm think, kidding, Mike Dean. I'm, think, kidding, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. We want to know though. Yeah, I think CLA. Oh God. That's what it is. This is gonna sound so disrespectful. It's not. Oh my God. It I'm is. Y'all think? Y'all think CLA Whatever. could take Jason Joshua on in a VST plug-in battle? In what way? In their VSTs against each other. Damn. What CLA vocals this versus, versus God, God particle? particle? This is actually a great no. Nah, every CLA say, plugin versus remember, God every particle. Every CLA plugin. <laughs> no, no, I'm not doing it. The way God I said particle. it was disrespectful. Can CLA take Jason Joshua? That one plugin. One. <laughs> Can I say this? CLA is the That's god though. CLA, I'm not gonna lie. CLA, CLA the walked for Jason to run. To run for sure. I ain't lie. In the plugin world, can we be honest? I'm not being. Let's come on. Let's not. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. CLA. That's a great. You cannot. Let me say something. One compressor. The one compressor, and I never say grandiose stuff like this. But the one compressor that I feel what will never leave my arsenal is the CLA 76, 76. baby. That thing is never going anywhere. Yeah, yeah no, nah, it's fine. Me? It's unless, the, here. unless UAD up the, uh, updates the TLA 76, then it's going to be awesome. I've never used the TLA 76, which is Tom Lord Algae. Yo, UAD, please, like, just... Can we, talk, can we meet? Because I feel like our lack of UAD knowledge yeah. gets to the UAD fan. That's true. It actually, yeah. But it's because it was locked up for a long time. A long time. Kind of like Pro Tools. It yep. was it was locked up. I couldn't use it without oh the hardware. Oh my gosh, that was perfect. What? It was kind of locked it up. It was right? locked up and it's it cut like, me out. Yeah, it's like logic. Yeah. And I didn't grow up in it. So so I'd never use UAD. And mm -hmm. when I saw uh, Waves had CLA 76, I was like, I got a 76 right there. And I got used to the sound of that two-way, they are 76 and the whole nine. Yep. It's like music. 3A. You, what, I making it like, exclusive? I like Jay-Z. No, no. The reason my generation doesn't like Jay-Z as much as your generation is because y'all grew up with them. Now... Let's be very careful here. You're absolutely right, mm -hmm. right? Where it's a just generational thing, and he makes timeless music. That's my favorite rapper of all time. Mine too. But I see that yo, my peers don't respect Jay Z. Where like he is the one for me. I you know, see but... people on the West Coast mm -hmm. act different. Like when because I go to them and be like Jay, they mm -hmm. act a little same with Nas. My generation doesn't respect Nas yeah, I... for what mm -hmm. Nas is. That's yeah, like... which is kind of confusing to me. But and but at I'll, the same even time, genres too, like. Whoa, I will go into another genre thinking, yo, this person is the guy. It's like, whoa, you're not. You don't, you, you're, you're new here. It's like somebody coming into hip hop and saying, yo, um, Kanye's the greatest producer of all time. Obviously, it's a valid take, but it's also arguable. Yeah, like, very just, arguable. Just very. Say, I don't, it's, nobody's in second place. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah no, I wouldn't, no, got I Prim, wouldn't do that. We got Tim. All right, we're not going to do it. Music no, that's okay. No, 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 it could, it could be. I'll, I'll save that for another time. You know, it's, I would never do a one guy to go to y'all with, with producers. No, don't ever. Well, we could. We could actually do that. And I would I'll be never interested. do it. I'm not going to that. That would, that would be it. Have you, let me ask you a question. Have you ever recorded in, you've recorded in like bigger studios, right? Of course. You've recorded in bigger studios. You've recorded in bigger studios, right, yeah. too, right? Have you ever touched a, a Neve 1073 by any chance? The famous um, preamp. It's blue. I probably like, I probably like drag my hand over it. <laughs> there wasn't, I really um, touched it, but I there didn't um, there wasn't a There wasn't a Neve in... Um, and um, shout out, shout Claire, out, connections. Claremont? There wasn't um, there wasn't a uh, no. I Yo, we all looked at you like Bob Claremont in studio. No, I touched some, some shit in his there. studio. I'm about to say, we definitely can I, did. Should I beep that out? Like I did, I just touched. No, that. Yeah, that was, Bob, that was that, a funny that, moment. That, and that's fact. Bob Claremont. Shout out, shout out, Claremont. Yeah, if we get Bob to sit on this, it's a wrap. Od, come come through. I'm not making no jokes. I would be like, shout out to 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 our other man, though. Urko, was there um, 1070 in in Urko's studio? Touched shit in Urko's studio. I don't think we definitely did. Me and Levens definitely did. I feel like Urko had some um. Oh, what's the famous vacuum tube um, Avalon? He, I, I seen him with a 737. And he had a pulley. He had a pulley. And, he had, a, and, and he had a pulley for his low end because it was insane. Nah. So Urko gave me my favorite. I'm sorry to cut you off. Nah. <laughs> this is clippable. 
Urko gave me my favorite engineer moment ever. And I've been in studios with engineers really working with them. I, I didn't get him. to work with Urko. What was your I favorite agree with this guy. Urko, Urko said, and this remember, I'm learning who Urko is. Yes. I walk into his house, I see all these flags. I'm like, wow. Yes. He's like, yo, come to the studio. Right. That's what I go to the studio. He says, Hey, you like Kanye? <laughs> Yo, that was I said, that, yeah, that I, was I, so I, I, cool. Yes, I like Kanye West's music. He's like sitting in this chair. So I was cool. like, all right, word. word. Front and center, everybody watching me. You know, all eyes is on me. I'm That's like, true. Oh. I was so nervous. By the way, when Levens gets a spotlight, I Yo, get Levens very had nervous. the goldest moment ever, bro. Yo, he I got a video of it too. I did. Clicks play. <laughs> See it in 3D. That shit was so bad. Oh, like that for me. Can I say I mean, the funniest part of this whole thing? <laughs> we all looked around and said, why is he playing this song? Like, why is this And song? then we walked back outside. And, we, and, and a so- new plaque just came out of nowhere. He mixed it. <laughs> it literally like, he yo, we did it. not see that plaque going in. Why is he playing a Kanye West song? The new plaque came. It was like a new plaque yeah, up here. He just pulled like, up. I'm about to hit him with this. The facts. He said, yo. yo. What was worse, too? Not even what was worse. I went to go use the bathroom. And as I'm washing up, I'm looking around. I'm like, he mixed, is oh, this man. a Billboard article? <laughs> he mixed everything. <laughs> Is Why does a, it say Jay Z? I'm not gonna lie. Shout out Urko, bro. Shout we, out Urko. We knew, I knew Urko, but I didn't, I didn't know Urko. No, I didn't was, know Urko like that. Yeah. Too. The next day, we went. Um, we were we were at Nam. It was yep. the last day of Nam. Stevie Wonder's walking through. Right. Yeah. So we try. We pushing through everybody to try to see Stevie Wonder. But then somebody caught my eye on a panel. It was Urko, and it was a free seat at the engineers. Bar. It was a free so you know seat. what I did? I went and sat at the engineers. Bar. You did? Yeah. Oh, I don't I remember. Saw, you I, must have I, snuck off at that point. I met. I did meet Stevie though. That yeah, I remember like, you met Stevie oh Wonder. He met Stevie. Ah, yeah. Damn, we'll be there next they year. They was not probably. letting nobody touch Stevie. No, absolutely not. Of course not. Why are you trying to touch Stevie? Wonder? You know, you guys. You, you know guys the, are the, weird. the theory. Yeah, I'm not gonna talk about the theories, but y'all, y'all know. The don't you? He dare. knows what we talk about. Don't you? Y'all dare. know what we talk about. Don't you dare propagate that on this, um, on this, on this, this thing. So to circle back, yes. The reason why I was asking y'all if you ever touched the 1073, yeah, is because uh, the 1073 is obviously probably the most famous pre. Amp that we all know in like studios in general, right? Sure. Like the T73. Nah, we all... warm, the warm audio joiners. Well, there's a remodel, Shit. but I'm talking Ooh. about that's oh, the chain of the where? chain of the C800 going into the 1073. Like you oh, know that. Yeah, we, we've... So you know that. Here's what I, here's my argument. What I've always been saying. What people are doing on the 1073? A lot of engineers would crank the high the high end on that yeah. preamp. Technically, isn't that EQing before? That's a high yeah. Isn't that technically like EQing before compression? Yeah. So. So my thing was, I was like, yo, I think engineers have been doing that for years on that preamp. You are EQing and adding stuff There's to it before. Be I, that's what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. That's pretty much, I'm just trying to say this argument is moot. And the reason why I'm saying is because I just feel spell like- you, moot. Can you help me focus, please? You keep ruining- Just spell it. Just spell it. I, he messed me up so <laughs> bad, bro. <laughs> <laughs> the argument is moot. Because they're using the sh- the high shelf. Because I feel like the- they're using a the high shelf and, and before they actually compress. Okay. And so that's why I feel like the argument is you can actually do both. I don't think that it's uh, um something that I don't I don't I am I'm, I'm not on the f- I'm on the fence about it hmm. in the sense of hearing everyone's opinion about it. But I don't have an answer as far as like oh do this or do that because right. for me personally I like the way my vocals sound and I EQ before I compress. I'll I'll tell people why I do it like that. Why? Um, for me. Um, and it's a case by case thing, and that's something you just discover when you know with your own music making process. Right. But uh, for me, things get like in my mind. Um, and I was just actually talking to Rob about this. Um, I don't want to get into the topic just in case we actually talk about it on another episode. It's okay. But he brought up to me um a very interesting question about mixing MIDI information, and I know some people that may do that and some people that may not do that. But for me, um. As the person I am, music can get mathematical to me very quickly. Very true. Me um, too. Same. And I start to think of problems that may or may not occur as I'm sound designing, which also for me is a stage of mixing. Uh-huh. Um, for me, I like to mathematically, even if I'm thinking like if I can uh, compress this or throw um, sausage fattener or any type of saturator on it to boost that is frequencies. A wild plug it's, a, in. it's a wild plug in to it just is. randomly call out. Yeah. Shout out Dada Life. Dada Life. Dada another Life another crazy I name. Know, they be shooting. Dada they be, Life is they crazy. They be like that. But um I think about it in the terms of if you in in your mind, if you produce, you know, like me, if you produce like this, um it makes more sense, at least in my head, to clear out uh, things that may become problematic. Same. Certain tones, certain rooms. That's Same. that's a big thing for me. Um, whenever I'm working with vocals, even before I compress it, uh-huh. the first thing I 
got to attack using an EQ uh -huh. is that 600 to 800 hertz range. Okay. I literally, as a th rule of thumb for me, because uh -huh. I hate that frequency spot, uh -huh. I have to take that frequency spot out. You know what's funny about that frequency spot? Uh -huh. I take it out. I'll, I'll, I'll find myself taking it out. It early in my mix chain, but I wind up throwing some back in so you later. You put some back no. in yeah. because you're I losing take, too much of the mix. I'm I losing presence. You're too much of the presence. I'm I, losing presence. I take that out so quick. I don't even. That's turn what I'm saying. No, get I don't even. I don't even turn it into a shelf. I just. Z <laughs> did y'all get that? Did I? Did I? Did, did y'all get that from me? Or yeah, that's something y'all discovered you, yourself. You, you put that on. You put me onto that. Because my who, who my, taught me that? Real shit. Real shit. Bro, who? <laughs> my guy, Wave, Wave Monopoly, bro. Okay, oh, got wow. you. He was one of my first teachers because he was teaching us an FL studio. So you related to it? That's hard. That's hard. Shout out Wave Monopoly. I've given tutorials where I say, yo, this 800 hertz range, mm -hmm. anytime you feel like your vocals or something is sitting too high it's up there. on the beat, like it's, it's sitting, like it's not fitting in the mix, bro, I hit that 800 and pull it and it tucks right, right into, into the, the mix. mix. And that's always been my favorite spot. That's why when it comes to like EQ and stuff like that, before I compress, the reason why I love it so much is because... I've heard, I forgot what engineer said it. I think Leslie Braffway, he just dropped the new mix with the masters. Yep. And up. he was kind of talking about in order for him, and I could be misquoting, I'm sorry, but this is my belief. In order for me to get these vocals, this whole thing loud, like really loud, I have to pull back on certain frequencies that are gonna hurt you loud, mm -hmm. right? Because the way you hear 2K at 60 dB is different how you hear 600 hertz at 60 dB. It's different. Yeah. Fletcher Munchen, we can go into that. Yep. But what did you say? I, I said it. I, I didn't know what that was. Fletcher Munson. Fletcher Munson. Munson yeah. curves Fletcher and stuff Munson. like that. So as far as how you about, yeah, got you. But it's the way our ears that's actually the, um, perceive yeah, the, uh, uh, the volume and stuff like that. It's a graph. I, it's, it's deep. Tough. I'm not saying I'm the most well versed person in it, but I do understand the concept. So when it comes to you compressing and you boosting all those frequencies, if you boost up that 2K frequency or that whole like vocal and boost 2K with it, Sometimes you might feel like, yo, this is loud, but yo, this is hurting it, so bad. Yeah, it feels bad. Because the way your ears perceive that frequency range is much more prevalent than- And sensitive to it. So if I pull that down, I can then boost all that stuff without hurting you. So that's why I'm so and such a fan of EQ and before, because nowadays we love loud. I'll be honest yeah, with you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Yeah, and that Actually, limiter- V said, yo, I don't know what the God particle is doing. It just sounds like it's louder, but it's fire. But it slaps. <laughs> it slaps. Harmonic saturation, the whole nine. But we're going to wrap up right there. That was our episode on EQ or compress or compress and EQ. I feel like we might even do a part two to that because honestly, sure, that can should. get deeper. But as far as to, to some, I'm not, I'm, I'm personally not saying or trying to steer you in the direction of you should EQ or compress or, or you should compress it's after EQ. It is up to taste and maybe seek some more information on that. And I'd love to hear what you guys think also in the comments. Please make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. Make sure you follow us on Spotify and Apple Music if you enjoyed the podcast. Podcast. This is the My Audio Nerd Podcast. I appreciate all you guys, and until next time. And if Neumann is Minute Made, then Behringer 